please can the media um team help yeah this organizer so sorry i think he's having network challenges let me see Can I share it from my screen if that can be done too? Okay. Um, please, can you make the Taiwan secretary a co host? Hello, Mr. Organizer. Okay, yeah. You can make him the co host. Okay. He will share from here. Yeah. All right. All right. So please, I hope my, my screen is, is visible. Yes, please. All right, so the committees and their um, heads and members. So we had Mr. Jima Justice as the head of the academic committee, members being Mr. Afrepo and Ms. Gertrude Selassie. For welfare, we had Mr. Apasibono Gregory, members being Ms. Erica Odria, Ms. Selena Grace, Ms. Apeku Ernestina. For sports and entertainment, we had the head being Mr. Suman Hayford, Members being Mr. Osei Latte Patrick and then Mr. Fenku Joshua. For our electoral team, we had or the electoral commissioner, we had Mr. Batasuma Sebastian. And then we set up a history committee headed by Mr. Duncan Akolo. Members being Ms. Viviana Marco Osafo, Mr. Mark uh, Awe Tachiga, Mr. Batasuma Sebastian. And then we also had a veteran committee headed by Mr. Jima Justice, members being Mr. Osei Latte Patrick, Ms. Vivian Amwakon, and then Mr. Alfred Paul. For special appointments, we appointed Mr. Salidon Benjamin as the alumni coordinator to help lay his information between the alumni and current members. And we also set up a handing over and graduation dinner committee headed by Dr. James Oscar, uh, Senanu, and assisted by Miss Erica Opoku, Mr. Patrick Osailati, Miss Selena Grace. For our membership, we have 31 members, 20 men and 11 ladies. So the chapter has its members from two universities, Taiwan University of Technology having 27 members and Shanzi Medical University also presenting four members. And all these members have been registered with the national body for achievements. Our achievements, um, all projected activities for the reporting year were successfully accomplished with exceptions to only two, which is the chapter networking with Beijing and a proposed market day, um, which were only partially executed. Our projections were achieved in three different levels. So we had organized programs at the local level, and then we partnered with other chapters for certain activities, and then full participation in national events, where we sometimes took on active roles as organizers or even the MC. So I would want to skip the national events, maybe for time's sake. Uh, these are national events that we took part of. And I would want to come to the collaboration we had with other chapters. The chapter collaborated with other chapters to have the following events. A health seminar on the team, hormonal imbalance in women with Anhui chapter on 11th November, 2023, facilitated by Dr. Jelak Hatfo. And then we had a collaboration with the Jenjo chapter 
on an educative lecture on anxiety, depression, and PTSD on Saturday, 6 January 2024. Shanghai also um, had a collaboration with Hangzhou, Guangzhou, Nanchan, and we also participated in that um, academic program, which was titled Navigating the Maze Effective Research Guidelines and Tips on 12 January 2024. So we come to the local events or activities that we had. The first was um, welcoming of new students. And this was done by a committee comprised of Miss Erica, MFR, um, Mr. Macklin, and then Mr. Sebastian. Now, per the constitution, before um, we would be able to rule out activities, we are mandated to have at, at least um, two general assemblies in, in every semester. So in our first semester, we had two general assemblies. The first general assembly held on 8th of September, 2023, which was attended by 25 out of 31 of the chapter members, where the action plan was introduced to the members and explained by the president. There was also a swearing in of the general secretary um, by the judicial chair, Mr. Edward Nketiah. Second general assembly also held on 9th January, 2024. In attendance were 23 out of 31 of the members. There was a third general assembly also on the 2nd April, 2024, attended by 20 out of 28 members. As of this time, um, some of our members had traveled and left the country. That is why you see our number being 28. And we had our fourth or our last general assembly on 21st June, 2024. Now, on the history committee, so a committee was set up to um, collate the history of the chapter and document it for future use. And the work is still ongoing. And we also created an alumni group to foster networking and bonding between uh, members and the alumni body. We organized an academic seminar on 5th of October, 2023, to help students know the academic requirements and to prepare in advance to achieve them. This seminar served as a platform to educate new members on the constitutional rights and responsibilities of members and who qualifies to be a member in good standing. On the 1st, 8th and 15th of March, Jima Justice, a PhD student um, in our chapter, who is the head of the academic committee under the auspices of the College of Economics and Management organized an academic seminar on the team, how to conduct scientific research. Now, uh, in our chapter, the academic committee intentionally um, acknowledged and recognized everyone who had some academic achievements that was done to uh, promotes the spirit of writing. So um, students who made some academic publications, Mr. Sebastian Batasuma, Mr. Fiati McLean, Ms. Vanessa Enyonam, Ms. Erika Odria have all been duly acknowledged for their academic publications. And we also had uh, birthday celebrations where we would design flyer flyers for the uh, birthday celebrants and then we made sure we celebrated every member of the chapter. Here, we want to say a special thanks to Mr. Joshua Fenifu for helping us with the flyers. And there was also a daily sports update on our WeChat page to keep it um, very lively. And there was also a movie sites shared by the sports and entertainment head daily in the group, or weekly, as you say. Um, there was a trip to Taiwan Asian City on 25th January, 2024. This was done to foster oneness and networking. The chapter opened its doors to other nationalities to participate. So this um, trip did not just have Ghanaian students, but also hosted several 
um, international students with us. Health tips. The Welfare and Health Committee um, was constantly posting tips on how to stay healthy on our page. And on 26 March, the Welfare Committee embarked on an oral hygiene awareness creation, educating members on how to develop good oral hygiene. Spotlight. From 3rd April 2024, the lens of the Welfare Committee went round and brought to light the profile of a number of Moose Taiwan members to help members know one another better. So the spotlight detailed the name profile, the life experience and leadership of individuals who were featured. There was also a gala night performance where under the auspices of the executives, um, Ghanaian students were mobilized to display some Ghanaian culture um, at the International Students Fest held at Taiwan University of Technology on 22nd December 2023. On January 9th, 2024, there was an indoor get together in games where a variety of games, including Ludo, chess, FIFA, and video games were played. The events featured snacks and drinks as starters, followed by fufu and rice as a main meal. The event lasted from 12.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. The Sports and Welfare Committee also organized fun games on 5th April, where a football match was played between Nooks Taiwan and Yike Dashe. Hombao Games was also played on January 6, 2024. Uh, this was done before our chapter collaboration with Jenjo. On our elections, the Electoral Commissioner started sensitizing and educating members on candidature requirements, and also sharing the new China constitution for every member of our, of our chapter to familiarize themselves with the constitution. And he started doing this on the 14th April. After that, a vetting committee was set up and aspirants were vetted. And on 18th May, we had our first election, but there were technical challenges and therefore a second date was scheduled on the 8th of June, where the election was finally um, held on site and winners were announced. On 30th June, we had our handing over and graduation dinner, where there was a successful transition of power to the newly elected leaders. The event was witnessed, the event also witnessed a celebration of uh, graduates, both Ghanaians and non Ghanaians inclusive. The occasion was graced by the Dean, Vice Dean, and Secretary of the College of International Education Exchange of Taiwan University of Technology. Awards and special recognition. The chapter takes pride in highlighting the achievements of its members and recognizing the special roles they play beyond the walls of Taiwan chapter. So this is done to encourage members to pursue excellence and contribute to building a strong Ghanaian community throughout China not just Taiwan. So during our handing over and graduation dinner, all of these awardees were given gifts of various kinds. So you can see the best PhD students, um, News China Award given to uh, uh, Justice Jima, the best male researcher, News China, Justice Jima. Um, I would want to skip uh, for time's sake. I believe they're on display and we can see, but I would want to make mention of uh, Get through Selassie Gosu, who was the first runner up for the third edition of the National Women's Quiz. Now, coming to special roles, we also celebrated all our members who played roles uh, at the national level. So we have Selena Grace Minta. Uh, she is a host for News China, a new radio show, a moderator of News China Women's Commission Roundtable Discussion. And I'm also proud to say she is the moderator for today's um, Congress. Yes. We have Mr. Hayford Esuman, who was a panelist on the sports arena every Sunday evening. Um, we have the NJC chair, Honorable Edward Nketiah Pau. We also, okay, let me skip some of them. We also had um, Mr. Paula Frey being on the academic committee as the AEA chair. 
um, Gertrude Selassie Gosu being the secretary for the academic committee, Honorable Bonzo Kojo Joshua being an academic committee member. We have Honorable Marklin Fiati being on the national publicity and shipping committee. And then Honorable Joshua Fenuku uh, also on the national publicity team. We all know how well he's helping even at the national level as well. And then we also celebrated one member of ours, Miss Vivian Osafo Amwakon. She volunteered to teach all the fresh men and women Chinese and they were all celebrated. On challenges, time management, communication, um, failure to properly network with other chapters as we intended, and also um, our inability to complete the reports on the history of the chapter. And these were the recommendations that were made. Successive leadership should at least include a member from the previous executive or working committee group to ensure stability and continuity. New leaders should prioritize upholding the unity and peace of the chapter. New leaders should ensure that they only employ the services and help of good standing members who will contribute their services and also uphold their responsibility of dues payment. And then we also recommend that uh, the new house ensures the completion of the chapter's history. Now, the financial statements will be read by our FC, but in summary, it is worth noting that 27 members have fully paid their dues. One member paid the previous dues in full. One member made half payment of the previous dues, and then one member paid three-fourths of the previous dues. So in conclusion, we are grateful to the Most High God who helped us to carry out all our responsibilities. So I would want our FC to come in and help with the financial statement. Okay. FC, please, okay. you can take over. Please, in, in two minutes, because of time, you can be a little fast for us. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon, Honorables, the Chair of the House. I'm Ganet MFA Akolo, and I'm the FC, outgone FC of Taiyuan chapter. So for this year, we had a balance of 1,411.98 RMB. Total dues was 5,850. We had revenue from our trip, which was to the Taiyuan Asian city. That is an amount of 1,225 RMB. Another re revenue for our chapter gains, that was 1,120 RMB. And also for our handing over, we raised 5,000 RMB. In total, we had 14,606.98 RMB. Can you please scroll down? Down to the expenditure, we have um, 8,361.26 RMB as the amount we spent on programs and meetings. And then our national quota was 2,950 RMB. So the total expenditure is 11,311.26 RMB, leaving us with a surplus of 3,295.72 RMB. Footnotes, we know that a balance represents the amount of money received from the previous administration, dues, which is 100 for chapter 100 for national. And we had 27 members paying their dues in full. One member paid previous dues, that's 200 RMB. A member paid half dues, 100 RMB, and a member paid three fourths of the dues, previous dues, that's 150. In total, we have 580. Revenue made from the Thai and Asian city trip. We, as a chapter, had a trip to the Asian city in Taiwan on the 25th of January, and the total was the total, um, um, sorry, the total attendance was 54, which consists of 31 foreigners and 23 members of NUCS. Each member paid 20 RMB, which sums up to 416 RMB. 29 foreigners paid 25 RMB each for snacks and transportation, which sums up to 725 RMB, and two foreigners paid 20 RMB only for transportation. That is, in total, uh, 100. 1,225 RMB. And the table below shows the description 
of our expenditure because of time i wouldn't really go through it we can see it on the screen if yes for revenue made for tyrion chapter games we made a uh, we made a total revenue of 1145 renminbi spent 1120 renminbi and we had a bonus of 25 renminbi for our handing over we made revenue a revenue of 5000 renminbi that is uh 25 members attending 32 invited guests and each member paid 40 renminbi which sums up to 1,000 and invited guests paid 60, which sums up to 1,920. And we gained 1,030 from our sponsors and 1,050 from Balloon Popping to raise funds as well. And this sums up to a total of 5,000 renminbi. Our expenses was 5,083.65 renminbi. So programs and meetings are shown below. We spent 150 for the fair to support um our our executive to the national games that was held at a national level. We spent 148 renminbi on re orientation. We had a gala performance where we had to get items for performance, and we spent 67 renminbi, so 7.5 renminbi. New Year party, we spent 600 renminbi. Asian City Trip, we spent 1,050 renminbi. Time and Games, we spent 1,120 renminbi. For our fundraising at the national level, we contributed 150 renminbi. Um, chapter Vetting, we spent 56.3 renminbi as it was on site. Elections 2 was on site due to some problems we had with the system. So we also spent 85.8 renminbi. And the handing over, we spent 5,083.65 renminbi, making a total of 8,361.26 renminbi. Our national quota represents the amount that we sent, we have sent to the union as per the constitution. And the constitution stipulates that every amount of dues received certain percentage must be paid to the national coffers, that is 50%. And we made payments of 2,950 renminbi, and the surplus is the amount of money that is in the coffers as at now, and it will be handed over to the new executives. That is a total of 3,295.72 renminbi. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So please, Congress, good work done. How you end chapter, good work done. So Congress, many women, please, if you have any question, please, you can raise your hand. Due to time, we only give one person the opportunity to do that. Thank you. Okay, so since there is silence, I assume there is no question for Taiwan chapter. So I humbly call on someone to move for the acceptance of their report and another person to second. Please, any want to move? Okay. Mr. Dominic, Beijing Observer, please. Hello. Yes, please. You have the floor. Good afternoon, Congress. Um, Dominic Aka from Beijing. I moved for the acceptance of the report from Taiwan chapter. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Please, anyone to second? Any seconder? Okay. Please, you can go ahead. I, Princess Okusuhima, a delegate from Anhui Chapter, second the motion that um, Taiwan's report should be accepted. Accepted. Thank okay. you. 
Okay, thank you very much, Princess. So the document for Taiyuan has been accepted as a working document. Thank you very much and good work done, Taiyuan chapter. Next, we move to Nanchan chapter. Please, because of time, you just go ahead, introduce your executives, and then you just brief us in brief, just talk about your activities, and then you, you go to financial statement. So Nanchan chapter, please. Can take over. Yeah, hello. Um, um, my name is Arama, and I'm reading this report on behalf of the president and the secretary. Mm -hmm. Um, the president is David Yao Mensa. The president, the secretary is Yaru Mary. Then, uh, financial secretary Samet Mohammed. Yeah, there isn't really much to see. Yeah, and um. Oh, uh, okay. Here in the achievement, in in so far, they have been able to mobilize twenty two members, seven of which are in Jingdezhen City, in order to get each other very well in in order to get to know each other very well in person. We decided to have an end of year party. Several after several meetings by the three executives, we came out with a good plan to pull out many members as we could to join the party. The union source funds to run the activities from dues, but again, funds for activities and other programs cannot come solely from membership dues. We're able to contribute a total of 800 yen for that party, um, a total of um 110 yuan was used for the party 200 was taken from the dues to support the activity and uh, the party was held 9 january 2024 it was a party to remember the nanchang also contributed a total of 750 yuan to support a, a brother of Furi bright uh the chapter also actively part of yeah um and I uh, think our challenge, the main problem we are facing currently is mobilizing more members and encouraging them to be active. We face issues with payment of dues by members as well. And we look forward to create suitable strategy to get members to be more actively, actively involved in activities, strategies like game storytelling, allowing members to pay dues in bid also will enable them to pay. And our action plan for the year is to collaborate with other chapters for programs where there will be talks on academias and relationship as well as other important topics. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So um, how much your reports can be projected? Nanchan. Uh, currently, I do not have the financial report because they only gave me this, this. to yeah, present. So okay. when they come here. Yeah. It's been projected. Okay. It's been projected, okay. yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. okay. Financial statement is as follows. The balance brother was 300, membership due 600, contributions 1,005. Use debt payment two hundred, um, total payments general expenditure thousand seven hundred and sixty net dues payment four hundred total payment two thousand one sixty, and surplus balance five hundred. The balance brought forward from twenty twenty two twenty three executive as at first September twenty three was three hundred yen, and uh. As stated in the article 30A, a source of funding for Nukes China and China Natural annual payment dues below is there broken down. Yeah. Um Mensa David 100 Yan Yaro Mary 100 Patience Akosia Jibodi 100 total 600 and 
yeah um contributions funding for activities or programs can not come solely from membership dues uh get together parties and okay the breakdown for contributions is as follows total of eight eight hundred and ten and then uh contributions for brides the it's also shown as below a total of 750 and um, total contributions 1560 yuan dues debt payment uh is 100 david by david then general expenditure was a total of 1760 uh net dues 25th june a total of 400 has been collected and transferred. And the uh, um, amount of 500 yen currently, which is no further occasions of events, will be handed over to the newly inducted controller. Yeah, General Secretary Mary and President David Yamensa. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. A good job done by Nanchan chapter. Please, congressmen and women, any question, any omission, any correction for Nanchan chapter, due to time, we just give one, one person the option, the opportunity, please. Okay, so um, since there is absence, I, I assume there is no question for Nanchan. So thank you very much and good job, John Nanchan. Please I humbly call on someone to move for the acceptance okay. of Nanchan's report and another person to second, please. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Terence. Yeah. yeah, I'm Terence, um, former state uh, from Jianghua. So I move for the acceptance of um, Nanchan's report. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Please, anyone to second? Any seconder? Okay, Ms. Vivian from Taiwan, please. You have the floor. Hello, guys. My name is Vivian Amwako Sapo. I, Vivian Amwako Sapo, support the motion that Tianjan um, reports be accepted. Thank you. Um, Madam Vivian, um, please, can you take it again? It's Nanchan chapter. For record's sake, please. Um. If you can't second, yes, second, it's Nanchan chapter. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Um, I, Vivian Amwako, support the motion that Nanchan chapter's report be accepted. Okay, okay, thank you very much, Madam Vivian. So it's now a working document. Thank you. So we now move to the next chapter, Sian chapter. Please, is, is the day here? There's the secretary here or the president? Sian. Um, hi, I'm Ketiwa. I'm presenting on behalf of the Thank you for the Please, can you amplify your okay. voice a bit? Hello, can I hear? Yes, yes, please, you can hear, but it looks as if your voice is down. Yes. So, Ketiwa, can down. you please um, lift your voice up? We can hear you well. Hello, can I hear Yes, please. Please, you can take over. Hello? Yeah, please, we can hear you. You can take over, please. Hello, can I be heard? Mm. Yes, please, we can hear you.
हेलो हेलो प्लीज वी कैन हियर यू यू कैन टेक ओवर ओके सो द एनुअल रिपोर्ट्स ऑफ चैप्टर एक्टिविटीज फॉर द शियान चैप्टर 2023-2024 एपिडेमिक ईयर um the overview this report is prepared per the requirements of the national executive committee nec new china which is from which... the membership because of time sorry because of time okay it's not there overview thank okay, you so with the membership new xian chapter is represented by 10 universities in xian the chapter can boast of a total membership of 51 members and with administration As at October 9th, 2023, the mandate of managing the affairs of over 40 Ghanaian students in Xi'an was entrusted to some cohorts of executives, and the executives of the new Xi'an chapter are represented by um, the president Samuel Ajiman, vice president Michael Kwati Nechi, secretary Sandra Dede Asante, financial secretary Mr. Bar Suleiman, organizer Frederick Ni of Fairbees, and Wukom Laftope. And the action plan for 2023-2024, her tenure of office for the 2023-2024 academic year has been successful upon assumption of office, together with some reflections from the reports of past executives. Nushian also drafted an action plan for the 2023-2024 academic year, attached below. So, um, because of time, I will just list the activities that were organized. So, survival tips in China. um which was um an, an entertainment program and organized on 16th September the next was the freshest party on 7th October and then pink october should breast cancer awareness month by the wukom on 14th October and then a conference organized uh, which was managing long distance relationships on the 21st October the next organized So the next was a debate between men and women where Sian participated which was on Valentine's Day participated on 14th February and the um, the Sian Afcon tournament which was a football match between Ghanaian students and other African students from yeah in Sian and participated on 25th May also another football match uh between Ghanaian students and other students from Africa on 1st June and on 8th June and they successfully uh had the voting election and handing over an awards dinner um on the from the 23rd to 29th July there are some activities that are pending and some that were not organized by due to time I would mention that so achievements for the 2023-2024 year the new Xi'an chapter executive board of 2023-2024 successfully conducted a series of diverse events throughout the year on September 16 2023 we held a survival test in China program for all first year students who are just come to Xi'an for both masters and PhD on the 7th of October 2023 we organized a freshers party to welcome all new freshmen and we meant to see and as well as create an avenue for old members to socialize with the old and new we observed the pink october breast cancer awareness month where we shared tips and medic- medical back information on breast breast cancer with our members this was crowned with a breast cancer awareness talk in collaboration with nanchang shanghai and jingjia chapters On the 2nd of December 2023, we held a conference on managing long-distance relationships with renowned Ghanaian relationship and marriage counselor Reverend Cecilia Adedekis. Also, our men's team took part in the Xi'an Afcon tournament, a football competition between Ghanaian students and other African students on three separate dates, May 25, June 1, and June 8. Again, we participated in the National Women's Week organized by Miss China. and one in the final held on the 26th of May 2024 finally we successfully planned and held the election for the new set of executives for the chapter on the 28th of June a handing over ceremony was held on the 29th of June 2024 where the new new Xi'an chapter executives were sworn into office some challenges 
So our biggest challenge has been getting members to participate in events and also pay their dues. This really destabilized our plans for the chapter, but we are working on correcting that over time. Now the conclusion and way forward. This young chapter is grateful for the continued fruitful cooperation, support and encouragement from the National Executive Committee of Nish China and the general members of the Nish chapter. Signed by Sandra Asante and Samuel Ademan. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, please, you can proceed to your financial statement. Uh, I don't have the financial statement. Yeah. The vice is going to project it. Madam Vice, you have that one, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, so the financial statements of Nushian for the period 2023-2024. Income statements. So the income balance brought forward and an amount of 2,065 MMB, donations 100 MMB, and the membership dues 2,850 MMB, totaling 5,015 MMB. And then the expenses for the freshest week the expenditure was 871 RMB, but the handing over ceremony was 600 RMB, and that of the net dues payments was 1,525 RMB, totaling 2,996, subtracting that from the initial income making 2,019 RMB. Please So the balance sheets as of 2023-2024, the assets cash and cash equivalents was the 2019 RMB and then retained earnings 2019 um, RMB. So declaration, we, the undersigned hereby submit the, and confirm that to the best of our knowledge, the financial statements prepared by the financial controller accurately reflects the financial activities and position of Nixian for the period 2023 for academic year. Signed by Mr. Suleiman Ba, the financial controller, Mr. Jiman Samuel, the president, and Ms. Asante Sandra, the secretary. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, Madam Techiwa, and good job done from Siam chapter. Congressmen and women, please, this is the report. Any questions? The floor is open for questions, omissions, and corrections. Okay, so in the absence of any question or omission or correction for Sian chapter, I only call on someone to move for the acceptance of their report and also to second. Thank you very much. Okay. Miss Princess, please. Hi, Princess. Okay. Hi, Princess of Pusuhima. A delegate from Anhui chapter move for the acceptance of CN's report. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Please, any seconder? Please, any seconder? Is anyone to second Sian's chapter report? Okay. Please, you can go ahead, Mr. Malan of Chansha. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes, um, so this is a Richard Malan from Chancha um, Delegate. Um, please, I second the motion. Thank you. Please, um, for record's sake, um, which motion are you seconding, please? Um, accepting the report, please. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for seconding the acceptance of CR chapter's report. So we move to Chendu chapter. Please, you can take over. Stephanie. Okay. Uh, my name is Stephanie Kiba. I'm representing um, the secretary for Chendu chapter. And all right. Please, can you amplify your voice a bit? It's a bit low. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Can you hear now? Yes, please. Go ahead. During the handing over ceremony, the following were elected as the Chendu chapter executive for the 2023-2024 academic year, Mr. Dennis Afumini Dark of President, Ms. Stephanie Moena Kruger, General Secretary, Ms. Mary Bimo Katiaru, Financial Controller. Uh, okay. Can you hear now? It's a bit low, if you can. Sorry. Still yeah. What does I don't know how to this is how I talk. Oh, okay. Can you, oh, you can you can proceed. Maybe you can bring the device a little bit closer to you so that we can hear you better. Okay. Yeah. As I was saying, Ms. Dennis Akumini Dapo as the president, Ms. Stephanie Mauna Kruger as the general secretary, Ms. Mary Bimo Katiaru, financial controller, Mr. Daniel Adu, organizer. Chapter committees. For a successful run of the affairs of the chapter, there was need for setting up specific committees, commissions, and boards. These were the committees Judicial Committee, Electoral Commission, Vetting Committee, Audit Committee, Welfare Committee, Academic Committee, and Sports Entertainment Committee. Um, the first General Assembly, please can you? Uh, go membership, on? just yeah. Membership, okay. We, as um, we were able to register 20 new students, and these are the schools under our authority. University of Electronic Science and Technology, China, 33 people, Southwest Petroleum University, one, Sichuan Agriculture University, 11, Chengdu Normal University, three, Southwest University of Finance and Economics, 10, and Chengdu University of Technology, three people. Uh, our action plan was accepted at, on the 5th of November, 2023, and these were the activities on the action plan. October Games, which was held on the 30th of September, which brought together new and old students in Chengdu for, for a day with, filled with various games, including table tennis, football, and volleyball. This event was successful. Scroll down. We also had academic workshops, which was held on, the first one was held on the 19th of November, 2023, and the second one was held on December 17, 2023. The second one was in partnership with the ISU, International Students Union of University of Electronic Science and Technology. Uh, we had a New Year dinner and get together. This was held on the 31st of January, 2024. And with this activity, um, our awards was presented to resource person who helped during our academic workshops. Independence Day celebration games. This was held at USDC, that's University of Electronic Science and Technology, which was um, schools from people from other schools in Chengdu came to campus and we celebrated this event together. School. Okay. 
our achievements so far, our academic committee was able to organize and execute academic programs, which educated and motivated members in their various research disciplines. Despite the struggles we encountered in dues payment, we were able to, we had some considerable number of people paying their dues, a total of 30 members, member visitation at various campuses. Majority of programs within the year have been achieved and the ability of our administration to collaborate with other institutions to realize an impactful program. So, challenges so far, loss of interest of members to participate in leadership roles, members being unconcerned to update information on the portal, members participation in the chapter activities yet to reach maximum levels, membership refusal and unwillingness to pay dues. Possible solution, holding a meeting to make members understand the importance of having chapter leaders, having a forum where members decide the kind of activities they want, okay. and creating more awareness of members to participate in chapter activities. Going forward, we the outgoing executive must strive to make the chapter executive position appealing enough for other individuals to aspire and take them up before our term of office concludes. In addition to encouraging members to fill in executive positions and other roles, it is essential to revamp our membership drive to motivate members to increase their dues payments and ultimately engaging activity actively in chapter activities. Yes. Yeah. That is all. Thank you. Okay. Please, you can project your... Uh, I don't have it, so can you do it for me? Yeah, we're going to project for you. Chandu chapter. This is projected. You can take over. Yeah. Okay. Financial statements. Our balance was eight thousand. Wait, please hold on. Our president wants to read it. Okay. Hello, Mr. President. President for Chendu Chapter. Mr. Dennis. Madam Secretary, please, you can continue. I think his network is giving him challenges. So maybe you can continue. The president is here to read. Okay, okay, okay. You can take over. You can take over, Mr. Dennis. Okay. Ah. Uh... Forgive me, I've been running. Okay, so um, our administration took over last year and we were given an amount of 8,000 and some coins. So we also... Please, can you scroll down? Okay, so um, as a group, we also tried to mobilize enough funds. We got around 5,000, where half was sent to national and then half reserved for us. So looking at the slide or the document, you could see that the amount expended is indicated there and then the, the ones we have also in our votes is also here. However, some of our members are yet to 
get registered to the portal. So some monies that have to be sent to the national are still with us or is still with us. And therefore, once we are able to go through that process, that money will also be sent to national. So as a group, we also got some donations for our um, activities, like our first activity, for instance, the Aquaba Games. We got, uh, I think, 1,000 RMB uh, as a way of supporting the, the chapter in its activities. So basically, in all, our total revenue generated, i.e. the previous one and then what we got as a way of dues and donations um, was 13,918.06. And then the activities are as follows. So if we less from the 13,000, the almost 14,000, these are activities we had Aquaba Games where we expended about 1,691. 1, and then we also had uh, our first general meeting, which we expended 140 RMB. We had some academic activities with awards and all that, and we expended 319. We also did our dinner, which was actually massive. And, and we expended 1,914.11. And then lastly, we did our Independence Day celebration games, where we expended 2,300.34. And then so far, the remittances sent to National is 1,750. Total expenses was 8,247.24. And then the balance at hand, that's the money we have in our vote currently, is 5,670.82. Thank you very much. This is Chindu Nuk's chapter, or Nuk's Chindu chapter. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And a good job done, Chindu chapter. Congress, please, the floor is open for questions for the chapter. Any clarification? Okay, Mr. Michael Kwati of, of CN, please go ahead. Um, hello, can I be here? Yes, please, can I hear you. Um, when he was making his submission, he made mention of some amount of money being with them. I don't know if he can clarify that place for me very well, then I come in with my question. Okay. You mean, okay, sorry. Can I can I come in, Mr. Madam Moderator? Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay, so you mean we I made mention of a reservoir or a reserved money? Mr. Patton, please there's a question for you. Okay, so if if it's the money that hasn't been sent to national, yes, we have about, I think about 700 RMB to be sent to national. However, uh, national deals with, or the, the union deals with a portal. And that portal, every member of good standing must log onto that portal, get registered, and then as the person is registered, the, uh, the dues paid, 50% will be sent to national. So if the member hasn't registered, and it's not as if we haven't worked, we've circulated this over and over, maybe we could have done more, but we are all students. Therefore, everybody has one or two things doing here alongside serving the union. Therefore, if those members have not been able to register or have not registered, money cannot be sent to national. So if that is the reserve money you are talking about, yes, we have some money to send to national. And that's true. That's a true statement. Yeah. Thank you. Um, 
if I make a meal, were those students that um, their money are still with the chapter where they here during the academic or they came in late? Okay, so um, some were here, others came in late. And therefore, that is where the disparity is. Some so, have been here, but then they need to update their system so that they will be recognized and all that. But unfortunately, they've not been able to do that. And that's the reason why we are unable to send the money to national. Yeah. Um, but I, I think um earlier on when this uh, new administration when this administration came, they made it clear and they were sending several messages to all the chapters that we should try and register our members. So what happened to that? What were you doing during that time? Yes, yeah, so as Ghanaians, we always say that you can fall the horse to the riverside, but you can't force the horse to drink or swim. So I think if you if you if you if you bring in this narrative as Ghanaian, it's not gonna help. We are trying to change, we are trying to build something. So me, I want to know what delayed you. Yes, yeah, so personally mean, that you couldn't do that. Delivery. We are trying to change. So if we keep on saying as Ghanaians, that means we are getting nowhere. Then every day we we'll keep on saying as Ghanaians, we'll be using this one as an excuse. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for the question. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. So Mr. President of Chendu, please, you are... I'm um, humbly entreated to um, encourage them to register in the portal. Yeah, I believe they are busy. Yeah, I believe as we are all here now, I believe we are all busy, but we try to make time. So um, encourage them to also make small time and also register. Yeah, it is also part of showing that they want to be actually part of the union. So they should try and then register. Yeah, it's very necessary. Yeah, thank you very okay, much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much for the advice. We will work at it. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. So um, at this juncture, please, um, I humbly call on someone to move for the acceptance and another person also to, that is if Congress accepts their report to be accepted, unless otherwise. Please, can I be heard? Yes, please, you can be heard. We can hear you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Miss Yisha, please. You can take the floor. All right. Um, good afternoon, congressmen and women. Um, Mr. President from Chendu Chapter, I think um registration of members would not take so much time. So kindly do that and get back to um, us before the end of Congress. Yeah. But I'd like to move for the acceptance of your um, report as a working document. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And please, anyone to second, any seconder? Is any seconder? Okay, Miss Princess of Osuhima. Please, the person with the name Temp, if you can rename uh, so that I know how to call you. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Can I speak? Yes, please. Hello. Yeah, you can't speak. I, yeah. Princess of Usuhima, I, Princess of Usuhima, a delegate from the Anhui chapter, second the motion that changes um, report should be accepted. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Dennis, there is a clause attached to the acceptance of your report. That is that you are supposed to ensure that members register into the portal and congressmen will be awaiting for that report in the course of Congress before we end this Congress. So please, 
um, try your best to do it so that in the, in the rest of Congress, we announce to members. If not done, then that means that um, the report is not fully accepted. Thank you very much. So we move to and the please. next chapter. LG, um, please, the money yes. should be sent to national. It's very important. Yes, it's yes. very, very important. important. Okay. Because so the, reason, the reason being that right after this section, uh, let's say right after the Congress, um, new officers are taking over and the new executives are taking over. Probably there could be an inconsistency somewhere. So please, Mr. President, before Congress comes to an end, as um, Honorable Isha mentioned, uh, please help register the members, capture them in, and then again, you give um, the share of the national cafes, um, the quota to national cafes. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. President. So we move to Beijing chapter. Mr. Menu, or the President, Ms. Edna, please, you can take over. Um, Beijing yeah. chapter. Yes, please, can hear you. Okay. Please, um, can I share my screen or okay. would it be projected for me? Yeah, yeah, I was, okay, let me share. Well, I think I made some changes, so. Okay, let me share quickly, okay. Green chain, okay. Okay. Uh, Please, you can go ahead. I made some changes, so maybe if I can okay, share then, my screen. Okay, okay, then you share your screen, okay, sure. Then when you are done, please kindly share that one with me since I don't have yeah, that I'm, one. Yeah, okay, okay. I posted it in the delegates group, so okay, I'll so send, send it to you it. too. Okay, thank you very much. So, organizer, please kindly make the main, okay. You can take over, sir. Please start from the membership. You can ignore the, the opening okay. statement. All right. So, um, with Beijing chapter... We have um, 42 universities, and then we have um, 50 members that have been registered into the system for well, now. And we are still, with the member registration, it has been tough, but we are still trying to get more people to kind of register because we keep on dating them and telling them what to what, what what's important to register yourself into the system. So we are still on that. But for now, we have 50 fully registered members in the system. And with administration, we have this chapter executives, their names and their, their position. So we have Mr. Isaac Kumsin as provincial coordinator. We have our president, Ms. Edina. We have Mr. Samo as our vice president. Myself, Emmanuel, the general secretary. Michael Jordan as the financial secretary. And then we have the acting organizing secretary as Mr. Bashir Muhammad. So we, in our chapter, we have some challenges with the um, uh, creating committee because most of the time it's kind of hard to uh, get people to kind of uh, form this committee because I think most of them have a lot of activities and I think some of them were mostly in their final year so they weren't able to help it's quite understandable but with the commission we have the electoral commission that was a successful one we had members that participated to help with the electoral commission which we have uh, Mr. Eric Arta as the chairman, Raymond Atanga as the member, Richmond Ayi, Isaac Kumsin, and uh, Ahmed Salim Sika as also a member. So with us, with this association, uh, with our chapter, we have some achievements and some activities that we performed this year uh, for the period 2023-2024. And then we had an online meeting, which was monthly. We did this meeting to discuss matters arising. We also presented financial reports and upcoming activities in this kind of meetings. These are the kind of things we were discussing during this period. And Beijing chapter also collaborated with NEC when it came up with when they came up with their pickup activities to pick up new members, uh, new uh, students from Ghana who were coming into China so that they don't end up being stranded to help them also uh, go to their various schools. The next activity we had was uh, the Aquaba Night, which was to, uh, as the name implies, we they were doing this to welcome the new students that were here into the system, to welcome them into the association, and also talk to them, to encourage them, and give them the benefits of being a member of NUCS, and all these things. We also had fun that day, and we had a collaboration. 
that is a networking and empowerment with NEC. We had a president of NEC who also graced the uh, occasion, where Mr. Uh, we, where we had uh, Dr. Michael Boachiadon, who is the director general at the Institute of Educational Planning and Administrative, the IEPA, who also came over to talk to us and encourage us in person. So we had this thing as an in-person program. And it was a very fruitful one, and a very impactful one. And later on this year, earlier this year, we had the official pass celebration, where it was supposed to be an end of year celebration. So we brought it over to the new year, that was 2024. And then we had a celebration for that. So uh, uh, we we had an Aponchi and Jama celebration, a graduation party. We did it for those who are graduating this year. It was uh, it was introduced by the president and the executive executives to kind of uh, bring us together and have fun. Those who are leaving um, and may not come back, or those who are also staying, at least have a fun like graduation time. Let's party. We party together, have fun with everyone. So. That was held this uh, that was last month, yeah. And then we are there's an activity we are planning now. It's quite unfortunate we haven't done it now because uh, we having this congress. So after congress, we will be having an activity that will be uh, time with the embassy and handing over celebration and also an award ceremony that we are planning to have within this period. Yes. So these are some images of the activities we had. Sorry, these are the images of the activities we had. Yeah, so we have we had some challenges as an uh, as a chapter. We have a lot of challenges. One is um, getting executive uh, committee members, and also one also is the mobilization of the dues. We tried our best. We, we we did our best to kind of mobilize the people to pay their dues. And then another thing too is member registration. It's quite hectic at times because when people kind of they are kind of busy, you have to always check up on them to talk to them to register them. I think even recently we had to we always have to put in the group and then talk to them about the member registration. So it was it was quite a challenge for us adding all these things together. So to conclude on the way forward, I think uh, it will be beneficial for us to focus on enhancing communication and engagement within the Beijing chapter, encouraging active, uh, active participation from general members, addressing issues of dues payment through clear communication and reminders, and actively recruiting members for community uh, committee roles to help us function as, an, as, as a chapter. Yes, so basically this is uh, what? for the year, for the academic year 2023-2024. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Please, is your FC here to read, read your financial report? Uh, let me, no, uh, let me, um, let me check on him. I think he just joined, Jordan. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, he's here. Mr. Jordan. Okay. Yeah, good evening to all of us. Uh, please, can everyone hear my voice? Yes, please. We can hear you, sir. Okay. So, um, I think the uh, PDF is already uh, projected. So, I'm just going to give a brief uh, financial statement of uh, the dues. Um, so, currently... Um, I think we had about 30 members paying the dues and um, uh, from the screen, we can only see 25 members. So um, what it means is that these 25 members were members that uh, registered their names in the portal. So what happens is um, if the member registers his name, then the secretary uh, of the chapter will confirm that. and. We also ratify uh, the money paid accordingly from the financial portal. So those that were able to uh, register their names were 25. And out of that, we were able to disburse 1,735 to the national and then 1,735 1, to the chapter. 
out of the total of 3,470. So again, I will say that um, members are still owing us. Yeah, um, amount of money that we we are supposed to collect in addition uh, to get the total is uh, 1,530. So with that, they haven't paid yet. So we can move to the next slide. Um, so these were receipts that I, I, I sent to uh, the National Financial Controller, uh, the records that I did, and the said receipts as, as follows. Um, yeah, so this is what I have. Um, and quickly, I want to project uh, again. Um, so maybe the one controlling the screen could just stop so that I, I project another sheet. Okay. Uh, Please, do I have access to share my screen? I, I think I don't. Post disabled participant screen sharing. So, yeah, I'll be glad if the one in charge gives me the nod to share my screen. Please, you can make Mr. Jordan a ghost. Yeah, okay. Please, you can take over. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let me try and share my screen. Okay. So um I believe everyone can see my screen now. Yeah. Yes, please, we can hear you. But because of okay, time, so, we can go straight to yeah, the amount I'm, I'm the trying my best over. to yeah, I'm trying my best to do that yeah. quickly. So okay. Thank uh, you. members who did not register their names on time are five members and and this this were the said amount they paid for both national and then Virgin, and out of the money, I think the total was two hundred and ten. So when we add that to the one we we projected earlier, I think the total amount will be three uh, three thousand six hundred and eighty. So that is the said uh, report for the dues. Thank you very much. Please, no statement for no expenditure. Expenditure on what, if you can um, I mean, as a chapter, that. you only presented on your dues. So I'm going to know if there's any expenditure. Okay, that means there was no expenditure. Okay. Uh, there no is, problem. there is, but you, um, yeah, I don't want to waste time um, because okay. like you said, you don't have a lot of time, so. No, but we wanted <laughs> to... No, I mentioned that we want to know that what you like your revenue and then your expenditure, at least that we know your balance. That is the main thing we wanted to see. Yeah. Okay, just hold on a second. Yeah, just hold yeah. on a second. Yes, please, sure.
I think I'll need some time to do that. So maybe the okay. next person can resume okay, sure. and then later I'll, I'll, I'll come back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll call on the the next chapter, which is Amhui chapter. Um, is the secretary here, Sandra? Yes. Or the yes. president? Okay. You can you can take over. But uh, I think there's a hand up. I don't know if that hand okay. has still been. There. Okay. That's okay. Miss Princess, please you can talk. Um. Thank you. So I want to uh, raise the concern regarding the last two chapters that presented. They were okay. all facing issues with registration. So I want mm. a clarification with how their registration is being done. Is it a personal one, as in the students are supposed to register by themselves or their secretary is taking the names to do their registrations on their behalf? Thank you. Oh, okay, thank uh, you very much. Is the question again? He was asking about chapter registration. Let me let me handle it for you, Addis. She wants to know how it is done. So basically, it is done in two, it's actually in two steps. The first step is that the chapter secretary takes the basic details of the member. That is their full name, their passport number, and then their email. And then the chapter secretary will initiate that in the portal. So that members are supposed to go through the main portal and complete. But most often, after the secretaries do this, the members do not do that. And in the case where the chapter secretary goes to the entire process, the system rejects it and makes it invalid. So that is the problem most chapters are facing. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And which chapter, please, you can take over. Uh, Madam moderator, can can I can I say can I say something, please? Um, yes, please. On the last, yes, please. very last okay. chapters. Yes, please. Yes, mm, uh, sure. I wanted to find out from um, the very last uh, chapters report. Um, I realized that after the submission of the financial reports to the National FC, mm. there were some other views that were collected. I don't know if the National FC has had closed the portal before they did that, or. That was also captured because I know I am on the auditing committee and then we started doing auditing. So I just wanted to find out if what documents we have are going to tally with what they have. If, if it, it doesn't tally, then it would suggest that they take that dues that were collected after they submitted that report to the next academic year so they can just hand over as dues that were received in the previous academic year. If that is what maybe I, mm. I got right, then mm. work on that. Okay. Um. Thank you very much. So um. I'll I'll humbly call on the national FC to answer. And I have no information on that. I don't handle financial issues. So, national FC. Please, are you able to? Yes, I, okay. I want to answer. Uh, okay, Paul, please. Uh, per your question, the the portal was closed, and the amount received from each chapter was the one we recorded. So with the issue of late registration and other style, those dues have not been paid or that money have not been received by the National FC. So I go by what they have paid to National and have been recorded okay. as such. Thank you. All right. That's fine. Thank you, too. Okay. Mr. Paul, okay, please, so are, you, are you okay? Um, ma Madam Secretary, can I come in? Okay, yeah, uh, let's hear from the president. Okay, Mr. President, please take over. Okay, thank you very much. Um, thank you so much, Paul. And then thank you so much, um, the National FC. So um, I think that um, both of them are on the same um, place. When I say the same place, I mean to say that we are all thinking about what happens to the money right after um, the account has been closed. So please, we are advising all chapters through this conversation that um, and then deliberation that uh, if any payment was made after uh, the account was closed, the national account was closed. Um, I know the national FC wanted to say, but probably um, he didn't uh, break it down well. We are supposed to still collect the dues. What is happening right now is that um, I've had two or three reports where now members want to pay dues, but the national FC, uh, sorry, the chapter FC will go like, um, please, we are no longer taking dues. So I've closed, we've closed the account. No, please, we are still taking dues. Even as of today, we are still taking dues. We'll continue to take dues until Congress is over and then it will continue. What it means is that you collect the money. 
it will not come into this tenor, but it can go into the next tenor. But you collect it and then you allocate the amount and state that it was paid within this year's or during my tenor. Okay. And then if possible, we are even um I think um there was a meeting between ourselves and then um, um the um auditing committee no long ago, and then they agreed that now all accounts or payment that will be done after the account has been closed. You can we can do another account and then before Congress will go to an end, the financial um, report could be reread again. And then we will all hear. So the first one can come tomorrow. If by or the third day still we are seeing some monies coming in, we would we can create an opportunity for the national FC to come and read the amount that he has received within this period of time. So please let's continue to collect the money, like we mentioned to that of Chengdu. And I hear there's one in Taiwan, and then there's also one in Beijing coming up. So please, we still collecting money. And then we're going to create a whole account and then we are going to account for it here in Congress. And then even if it's after Congress, we would recall the auditing committee to audit that. And then it will be given to the new officers who will be coming um, um, in future. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we will move to Anwi chapter because of time. So Anwi chapter, please, um, you have the floor. Good evening once again. I'll proceed from the membership side. Yeah. Um, we are to, uh, 45 members in total, and this number is further broken into 34 members who are active and non-active members as 11. As 11. Um, in July last year, the mandate of ma managing the chapter was entrusted to four executives. And that excluded the financial secretary because we didn't have a financial secretary by that time. Um, later in April 2024 this year, the financial controller was sworn in and added to the group of executives. So um, with the president, we have Benjamin Norton, myself, um, Sandra Sari, the general secretary, Jeanette Beatrice Yelimu, the women's commissioner, Shadrach Butok Datrikba, the organizer and Paul Jabin, the financial controller. I'll move on to the action plan. So our tenure of office has been successful upon us. Below is our action plan submitted and, and the achievements so far. So we began with um, an, the objective of revamping the interests and participation of members. We did regular and personalized checkups through WeChat and personal visits, and that was all year round. Um, all executives um, um, participated in this, and the remark is that we, we were able to achieve it. Then in September 2023, last year, we had um, a general assembly in Aquaba program, and that was achieved. We also we also planned on having a um, creation of opportunities for peer mentoring and learning support where we would um, invite research mentors and have um, an Anhui chapter, um, should I say, a researchers to have a talk with us, but that wasn't achieved. Um, going back to women empowerment, um, the WUKOM and we will come organize the program, unleashing the and tap power of women. That was October 2023. Together with other chapters, it was achieved. Um, further, revamping the interest and participation of members, collaboration with sister chapters. That's with the um so with the women in, in January this year. Which is which was achieved. Please, I don't know if you can hear me. Please, can I be heard? Yeah, we can hear you. Can I be heard, please? Yes, please. All right, thank you. Um, oh, you scroll so much. Please come up a bit. Okay. Thank you. That's fine. Um, 
We also plan on having life and opportunities in China where we would interact with Nukes alumni. So they tell us about um, the life in China, but that program wasn't achieved. However, during our meetings, um, the, should I say, older people, those who have been in China for a while, were able to, should I say, advise or tell our new friends or new members about China and how to go about certain things. Okay, the last is the nomination and election of new executives and handing over. It's also the General Assembly, which we had um, recently um, in June. So number five, during the period under review, the leadership of the Anhui chapter successfully rekindled the interest of many members who had become passive towards the union. We also um, participated fully in the pickup services, which won the hearts of uh, a lot of members. Hence, we had a, a lot of people um, coming for meetings as compared to the previous years. The one-on-one -on -one approach adopted. Mm. Please scroll, scroll up, excuse me. The one-on-one -on -one approach adopted by leadership has helped to sustain a good bond of relationship among members. This bond of unity was reflected in the massive turnout of members during the International Cultural Festival festivals organized by USTC and then Hefe University of Technology. Additionally, Wukom collaborated with other chapters to organize an online program that hormonal imbalance in women. It was facilitated facilitated by Dr. Jilak Kachfo and was well attended. And we had a good feedback after the program. Below are the pictures of our meetings and the pictures of the program. Um, Nooks and which chapter also um, participated, like we had a cultural festival, let's say USDC and Health University of Technology, where um, the Ghanaian students of Anhui um, went to throw their support by joining in these programs. So below are the pictures of, of these activities. Please scroll down. This is for USTC, please scroll down. Okay, so the challenges. The chapter leadership continues to deal with the issue of apathy among members. The effects of this challenge is manifested in the non-payment of dues, as well as non-attendance to union meetings by some people. The way forward this is that the chapter has been incident, the chapter has been incident free and continues to enjoy relative peace. We are hopeful that the union will continue to grow better and stronger. And so we finally and we finally trust that the new leadership will work hard to build on the foundation which has already been laid, signed by the president and myself, the secretary. Thank you. The mm -hmm. financial secretary will take after the financial report now. Okay, thank you very much. Over to you, Mr. Paul. All right, can, can, the, can the statement be shared, please? All right, thank you. Okay, so my name is Paul and the past financial secretary for Anhui chapter. And the, the, the statement of accounts of the chapter looks like this. We had 3,281 as balance brought forward from previous administrations. We were able to collect um, 4,250 RMB as um, membership dues. We also had sponsorship from um, previous executives amounting to 300 RMB, um, giving us a total income or receipt of 7,831 RMB. Um, coming to expenditure, we had um, general expenditure amounting to 1,882.94 RMB, um, we, out of which we paid the half or 50% of the 4,250 RMB to national as our quota. And then also um, spent about 651 RMB on a handing over ceremony. Total expenditure amounted to 4,569.04 RMB. 
So at the moment, we have a cash in hand or at bank of 3,261.96 RMB. Now, um, tabula representation of the list, I'm not going to be going through this. Can we just go down, 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 down? Giving us a total of 2,250 RMB. Um, here to be, can we go down? Yes, um, yes, yes. So um, in conclusion, we, we have diligently managed our finances to support various students' initiatives, events, and projects at the local and the national level. The financial statement reflects our efforts to allocate resources effectively and efficiently, uh, ensuring that every contribution has been utilized effectively. Comparatively, on a year-on-year -year basis, our finances, especially with revenue mobilization, increased but with a decreasing rate considering the membership of the union. Total dues mobilized in 2022-2023 academic year was 3,700 RMB. Total dues received this academic year was 4,250 RMB. Um, representing an insignificant increase of 2.9%. Um, Please, can we go down? Uh, we extend our deepest gratitude to all members and sponsors who have contributed to the success of Nooks and Hui Chapter. Your dedication and generosity have been instrumental in driving our mission forward and empowering students to thrive in the academic and personal endeavor signed by the financial controller and the chapter president. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Paul. And thank you very much, Sandra, for your report. House, please, the floor is open for questions for Angry Chapter. Any question, any clarification, any correction or omission? It's because of time, if we can be a little first. Thank you. Okay, so I assume there is no question for Anhui chapter. So without wasting much time, I humbly call on someone to um, move for the acceptance of their report and seconder. Does anyone to move for the acceptance of Anhui? Reports. Okay. Miss Yisha, please you can go. Okay. Hi, Yisha, move for the acceptance of Anhui's chapter report as a working document for okay. the okay. union. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Godfrey, please. You can go ahead and second. Yeah. I Godfrey Kofor. Second the motion that Anhui's report be accepted as a working document. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So the Anwis document report has been accepted as a working document. Thank you very much. So we move to Chichiha. Chichiha is one of the chapters that has been revived again. So they are still finding their feet, but they want to present something small to the house to encourage the chapters, other chapters too. So I will just share for Chichiha. So, Mr. Kram, please, you can take over. Oh, okay. Um, here with you. Okay, you can take over, please. Okay. Okay, good evening to everyone. Um, just like um my able secretary already mentioned to all of us, Chichiha chapter is was there already, but then uh, due to COVID-19 issues, so we are now uh, reviving again. So apparently, Chichiha chapter happened to be entirely a new chapter, even though it existed some years back, but due to COVID-19 pandemic, most of our seniors, our senior colleagues were almost done. And for that matter, they had to graduate online. So upon taking the mantle as a new president of the chapter, my members from the last quarter of 2023. So that was to get all present students on board and also move all members to the alumni interface. That is on uh, the NOOCS um, interface. And that was successfully uh, executed. As a new president, my major priority was to synthesize all members on the core mandate of NOOCS China. And then need to, you can use, 
school for me. Yeah. And they need to be and they need to be a fully registered member. And this was successfully achieved. Amidst challenges regarding due dues payment and absence of activities currently ongoing within the chapter level, the chapter is kept uh, successfully um, revived with six registered members. So these are the members that we have uh, within the chapter level. So Yakuba Krambaba, the president, I'm the one speaking. We also have uh, Mary Yamila Loma, secretary. We have Angel Bilme uh, Moses, a member. Tele Francisca, a member. You guys are some more about team member. And then uh, Mohammed Fuller, a financial officer. So these are the, 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 um, the number of students that we currently have within the chapter right now. Thank you. So I'm done. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Thank okay, you please for your any okay, please any encouragement, any question for them? Maybe you want to share something with them. Okay, um, Mr. Godfrey, please, you can speak. Okay, so um, it's a word of encouragement. With Kishi, I, I, I believe that most of them are um, medical students, and then combining these two is not easy. So thank you so much for the work you've done. And um, just like Taiwan, we also um, resurrected during the... No, we, we actually started after COVID, but we've come a long way. And I and I know that with your with this seed that you have planted, we know that CGI is also going to be a, a big force in the coming in the coming years. Thank you for your hard work. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your advice. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So please, I humbly call on someone to move for the acceptance of the report, and then any second. There's no other question. Okay, please, anyone to move for the acceptance of the air report? Any second? Uh? Please, can I be heard? Wow. Okay, Miss Yisha, please you have the floor. Um, please, before I move for the acceptance of the report, I have a question for okay. the president. Please, do you have um new executives, or how do you ensure that um? the chapter keeps moving like you, it doesn't shut down anymore do you have new um executives or do you intend to continue for the next academic year as the president okay thank you so much for the question um i have already submitted uh, our new executives for 2023 2024 or 2024 2025 academic year to the um the secretary of neck so um we have new even though i'm continuing but i have other um other colleagues who also intend to serve um to serve nooks at the chapter level so i have some other people joining me to serve so i have my i'm being, being the president i have the secretary i also have the financial controller so we have three people um i have two people two other people joining me to serve so i have new executive to work with me thank you all right. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. We really okay. appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I shall move for the acceptance of Kichihar's chapter um, as a working document. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Please, any second for Kichihar's report?
Okay. Mr. Godfrey, please, you can go ahead. Okay. So, please, um, I, Godfrey Kofor, uh, second the motion that TGS reports be accepted. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great job done. Stack, um, and all the best. So, we move to the next chapter, which is Wuhan. Please, the Wuhan secretary here, Laurie. Yeah, hello. Please, can I be heard? Yes, please. Okay, good afternoon, Congress. 